Thousands of babies have already been saved since Roe been Wade, because in the red states where abortion, the heartbeat laws have been passed, uh, the, you can't abort. And so tens of thousands have already been saved since June 24th. But the second thing he said is that California is going to be a pro-life state. I, 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 I looked at him <laughs> like doubting Thomas, just in totally incredulous about that. But I want you to know, I have more faith that California is going to be a pro-life state because we're in an epic season of transformation. And I believe we're in right in the beginning stages of what Haggai 2 verse 7 prophesies. So let's read from that. 538 years before Jesus was born, he prophesies, I'm going to shake all nations. They will come with the wealth of the nations. And I will fill this house with glory. Now, again, we're talking about the temple that was being built by the governor Zerubbabel under the Persian Empire. The Persian had taken over. It was first the Babylonians, Nebuchadnezzar, who destroyed the temple, 586 B.C. Now we're talking about Cyrus, who is the king of Persia, who gave permission for them to go back to Israel, the people, fulfilling prophecy from Jeremiah, 70 years of exile, and then they'll start returning. I tell you, I love the Bible. It's so true. The prophecies are so accurate. It's amazing. I had the privilege of leading an Orthodox Jew to Jesus Christ, just quoting from Old Testament Scripture. By memory, by the way. I didn't have my Bible with me. I prophesied 9-6, Isaiah 9-6, Micah 5-2. O Bethlehem, you're the smallest of all the clans in Judah, but out of you will come forth a king who existed before time was. Who is eternal but God? And by the time I got through the conversation, we were having Chinese food. He likes Chinese food. Jewish people like Chinese food. And so he said to me, he said, you've convinced me that Jesus is my Messiah. He gave his heart to the Lord, and now he's a professor of music at a Christian college. It's amazing, just using scripture to show how accurate the word of God is. So Haggai prophesies, I'm gonna shake all nations. There will come with the wealth of the nations, and let me just pause for a moment because I'll get more into this at the end of the message. In the midst of the global shaking, you're gonna prosper, my people are gonna prosper financially. You know, the word Deuteronomy 8, 18, how many know that? He gives you the power to create wealth, to confirm the covenant he made with, really, with Abraham, and we're all children of Abraham. That word power, if you look it up in the Hebrew, is the same word for the lizard chameleon. What does a chameleon do? Changes color based on the environment, you're right. And so it can change based on the environment. So what he's saying is it doesn't matter what the economic environment is. It doesn't matter if it's inflation, and we're at a 40-year high of inflation, the highest in 40 years under this present administration. It's like the worst economy, but we're also in recession. People are not buying goods. There's a shortage of supply. I mean, when I published my book, I was going to publish it with, I won't even mention the name of the company because I don't want to cast aspersion. They're friends of mine. They're Christians. They published my other books. But they didn't have enough paper or ink to publish my book. They were just short of supplies. And that's what we're facing in many industries today. And so I had to find a publisher that had the supplies to publish it to get it out on time. I mean, that's the situation we're in. And many of you in the marketplace understand that that's what you've been facing as well. There's a shortage the gas prices at all-time high. By the way, I just came back from Northern California. This is California. This was last two weeks ago. And to fill up my car premium was $7.60 still to this day. I know Biden is trying to lower the prices for the midterms. He's opening up reserves, which is like the spirit of stupid, because the reserve is for emergency. But he's using, instead of just reopening the pipes the Keystone Pipeline and dig, drilling wells that we were once drilling, he's just going through the reserve. It's like going into your savings account when you have other sources of income that you could use. You just touch the savings in emergency, but he's doing that. And the gas prices, the thing is in California, because we're the most taxed state, is $7.60 today. 
I remember a year ago, people were saying, oh my goodness, it hit $7, but now it's now dropped, but in California it hasn't. And so we are going through this incredible shaking that Haggai prophesied. I'm going to shake all nations. But in the midst of the shaking, I'm going to bring the transfer of wealth. Can I hear an amen from someone here? You have nothing to be afraid. He's going to prosper you in a time of shaking. And then the latter part is what I love the best.